Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that motor that was assembled out of parts. As you see, I've dropped it into this old 490 shell that I uh, painted with chrome, I don't know, probably six months ago now, something like that. Anyway, it makes a fairly decent-looking locomotive. Even though the uh, side rods are held on with screws, it actually doesn't look bad. It runs forward only, but the thing is, it runs. So I've got it on the second rail with 10 full-size Lionel cars. As you see, that's about 40% power. So this motor is running really well. It's a bit noisy, but remember, it's made out of junk parts. But it looks nice, it runs perfectly. And it didn't cost anything at all. Take it a bit faster. So pulling Lionel with no problem. Okay, there's 50% power. You see that thing's flying around this rail. Alright, slow it down. So, in any case, it's a great example of what you can do working with some junk parts. An old 490 shell, an old beat to death motor, assembled out of parts, up and running. But as you see, once you combine them, this actually doesn't look like a bad locomotive at all. It runs nice, it's a bit noisy, yes, but then again, it's made out of parts. Some of these parts are 80 years old. Anyway, this is that uh, 490 shell that I sprayed chrome uh, months ago. Anyway, it's been sitting up on the shelf doing nothing, so I figured I might as well go ahead and give it a uh, motor. So I dropped that uh, pre-war motor into this shell, and it's up and running. So far from perfect, but it's unique, it's one of a kind, and it was free. So anyway, just want to do a quick uh, follow-up video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email at benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.